it's a rainy day here in New York, but a perfect day to start some Thanksgiving decorating, which is what I've already been doing. I actually started the day after Halloween. I took down all of my Halloween decorations and prepped all of my Thanksgiving stuff to go up. Now, when I do my decorating, the first thing I usually do is my dining room. My dining room is like kind of my focal point of my house and then I like work around the colors and you know whatever scheme that I use in the dining room for the rest of the house. So today, that is what I'm going to be working. I'm going to be working on getting my dining room table tablescape put together and I'm going to show you guys how I do it pretty much step by step. So I'm changing things up just a little bit from my original plan. Um, do you guys remember, if you've watched a previous video that I've posted, um, it was a haul video, I purchased some like rose gold, like silky material. I'm sorry if this is like shaking. <laughs> I'm, hold I'm trying to hold it, I don't have a tripod here. Um, I purchased some rose gold material and I kind of laid that out over my table as like a tablecloth and then I put like a runner over it but after sitting for a few days and looking at it I thought that it was just too much pink and it would have been great for like Mother's Day or for um, Valentine's Day but there was just way too much pink so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a small piece of the fabric because I still want to use it in my tablescape, but I just, there was just too much of it before. So I'm going to cut a small piece of it. I actually purchased two yards of it. I have it laid out on my dining room table right now, so I'll kind of show you what I'm going to cut. So here's that rose gold material, and like I said before, I kind of had it... Um, draped over the table like a tablecloth it's not big enough to cover my entire table but I had it draped over um, you know the center and then I had a table runner going down the middle and I really love the table runner down the middle the pink was just too overpowering so I wanted to kind of tone it down a little because I really wanted the pink to come from my dinnerware rather than from the other pieces so I am going to cut um, I folded it in half, and like I said, this is two yards, maybe just a little bit more than two yards, but I folded it in half, and I'm going to cut um, about this much, so maybe like three quarters of a yard I'm going to cut, and so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to use that smaller piece in my centerpiece instead. So here's the piece that I cut. You can see it's about, I don't know, it's like, I don't know how many inches, maybe two feet wide, but then once you open it up, it's gonna be longer because it's folded in half. So there's the full size of it. So that's the piece that I'm gonna use now. So as you can see, I have my dining room completely, my dining room table completely cleared off. And I'm going to start with the base pieces first, which the first thing I'm going to lay down is my table runner. Now, I'm using that long piece of burlap that I purchased from Walmart, and it already has the nice lace running down the center. I cut it to fit the length of my table, and then to just overhang about, I don't know, maybe four or five inches on each side. So I'm just going to lay that down in the center first make sure it's nice and even just like that then once it's even and on the center of my table I'm going to take that fabric and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to just kind of drape it in the center so that way it makes kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like a messy, like, I don't, I don't know what to, how to explain it, but I'm just kind of like bunching it up in the center because I'm going to put all of my other arrangements like in and around it. So I just want little pieces of that fabric to stick out underneath my complete um, tablescape. 
So this is just about what it looks like right now. And this is what I meant about just kind of like bunching it up in the center. And I just made sure that I had even amounts um, of the burlap on either side showing. Might need just like a little bit more this way. Um, so then from here, I'm gonna start layering my pieces. Now, I always try to start with my greenery, which is what I'm going to be putting on next. So I'm gonna be putting down two of these um, floral, or they're, they're not floral, they're more like a leaf spray that I got from Hobby Lobby. I bought three of them, but I'm gonna be using two of them in this portion of my centerpiece. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be laying one kind of going that way and the other one going the other way with the stems in the center kind of just like that okay so here are those bird cages that i got from joanne fabrics for a really good price and i knew i wanted to use them in my tablescape so i kind of played around for a while to see like what i wanted to put in them um, because I didn't want to just leave them plain on the inside and I didn't really want to put candles in them because that's just kind of, I don't know. I just wanted to do something different. So what I ended up doing was I ended up using some of the gold color hydrangeas that I had in my um, display above my fireplace. I also grabbed one of my um, birch pieces and another glass or porcelain gourd and kind of stuck that in there along with some of this gold I don't know it's kind of like uh, like a gold spray type of thing um, that I've had for a while and I actually mixed in some white lights in this so at nighttime I can turn the lights on um, so that's what I did oh and I also used the um, rose gold or copper leaves right here that I purchased I put one in this one and then another one in the smaller one with just the um, with just the hydrangea floral piece. So I kind of stole some of the pieces from my mantle to put in here, but I like how it looked and I like how it turned out. So now I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to arrange them um, in the center, kind of sitting on top of those branches so that way you don't see the branches. Kind of something like that. Now, I'm gonna be filling in the rest of this area with other pieces, so um, you won't see any of the, the branch part once it's complete. As with all of my tablescape that I put together, I usually start with my biggest pieces first. So I'll put my biggest pieces down and then I'll work the smaller pieces around it. So in this case, the bird cages were the biggest, but then the next biggest pieces were, I'm gonna use this pretty glass pumpkin, which I had out in my formal living room. And then I'm gonna use my turkey, which I use in every single one of my Thanksgiving table escapes. So I'm gonna to try to find a place to put both of these. So I decided that I was going to put my turkey right here. So that was kind of like the first thing that you see when you walk into the dining room. And then I put the large pumpkin over here on this side to kind of even it out. The next I have is these two pumpkins that I kind of repainted and I got the pumpkins from Hobby Lobby and then I painted them painted them this like chalky white color and then I did the gold glitter on the top. So I've got two of those and then two of these rose colored candle holders which I got from Home Goods. And I just placed the pumpkins on top. And so these I'm actually just going to kind of sit right in some like empty spaces of my table setting or my ta my tablescape. Now I kind of like to play with height. Um, I kind of like to play around with height. So I make sure kind of like the taller items are in the center and that there's varying heights of things. It's just more pleasing to the eye, I think. So those can go like that. All right, now I have 
have um, some white pumpkins that I'm going to incorporate into this arrangement. I like the white because it pulls a lot of the other white accents that I have. So I have like the white lace, then I have the white doilies that are gonna be going with the place settings, and I'm using some white plates in my place setting. So the white really kind of pulls those whites together. So I'm actually using, these are um, my jack-o'-lanterns from Halloween, but I just turn them around because there's nothing on the other side. So I just hide the jack-o'-lantern face and I face it in so that it just looks like a little white pumpkin. Um, so I'm gonna stick that one there. I've already put one over here. Um, I kind of just like go around and try to decide where I like things. Um, like I said, I end up moving things around quite a bit, but we'll see how, we'll see how they turn out. I've now added a couple pieces more of this birch. Um, I put one laying on its side over here on the side of my buffet, and then I kind of laid another one over here in front of the big pumpkin, and I'm gonna kind of work my other pumpkins in and around those. Now my items are getting smaller, because like I said, I usually start with the largest pieces and work towards the smaller pieces. So here are some of the um, pieces that are around the same size. So I have two of these um, dark, like orangey brown pumpkins that I painted with the copper paint. Um, my spray painted, um, dollar store pears that I painted gold. I have a couple of pine cones that I just spray painted a little bit of gold on and then my two like copper color turkey candle holders. So I'm gonna kind of try to just add these in um, and fill in spaces that need to be filled in. smaller pieces that I've had. Now to pull in some more of that rose color, I have these roses that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby and I trimmed down the stems, they're not really long. So I'm going to take these and kind of stick them in and um, make the roses kind of pop through like the openings or the holes within the centerpiece. from Pier 1 last year. They were like a dollar a piece and I have some of these little um, battery operated tea lights which just show set off a nice glow. So I'm gonna scatter these throughout my tablescape just so that like in the evening I can turn those on and it will just give a nice ambiance. And then lastly, I have my two very old turkey candles that I don't light. I've had these for such a long time, but I like to include them in my tablescape every Thanksgiving just because it's like a tradition. So I'll probably just stick these somewhere where I can find a spot where I like them. 
Let me play around with this for a minute. All right, I decided to put one little guy over here on the side and the other little guy I stuck on the opposite side over here. And so that is just about it for my centerpiece. Now I'm going to start working on my place settings. So just like I do with my centerpiece, I like to play around with my table settings before I actually decide on how I want to lay out the plates and dishes that I use. So for this setting, I've decided to use these doilies that I purchased from the dollar store. And I'm actually going to be just using four of them with the seating arrangement that I have right now. Um, so I'll put the um, doilies two on either side. Now, now I'm not going to put any doilies on the end because the table runner goes to the end and I'm going to use the table runner as like the placemat for the end seats. So now that I have my four doilies laid out, I can lay out the charger plates that I'm gonna be using. And now I'm gonna be using these white charger plates they're like a white, um, almost like a stoned effect underneath, but it's got like a clear glaze and it's got a silver rim. And I purchased these from Pier 1 last year. Um, they were kind of on the pricey side, but I figured they'll last for a long time. So I'm just going to place those right on top of the lace doilies. And I'm going to do that all the way around for six settings. I'll place them one on either end as well. So the next piece I'm gonna use is my um, rose colored um, plates. And these are the antique plates that I have. And I'm gonna just place those right on top of my charger plate. So I'll do that all the way around. So it's starting to come all together. Um, the next plate that I'm going to put down in my place setting is this white, it's a plain white salad dish with the silver rim around it and I'm just going to place those right on top of my pink depression glass plates and I'm going to go all the way around with those as well. So the final piece that I am placing is the rose colored soup bowls and I'm just going to place those right on top of the little white salad plates. So that really makes that pink rose color pop. Now I'm going to go around and I'm going to be placing the cups which I have the pretty little rose um, tumblers and then I have the rose colored dessert dish. And then I also have just a small um, goblet, like a crystal goblet with the silver rim. So I'm gonna put the crystal goblet on the right hand side. I'm gonna put the rose goblet on the left hand side. And then I'm gonna put the dessert dish right next to the little goblet, just like that. Now it's time to add the silverware. Now I did a separate video on how I folded and made these little napkin settings with my forks and knife, um, but you can watch that video. I'll place the link below, but I'm going to take each setting that I made and I'm just going to sit it right on top of my bowl and I'm going to go all the way around.
do is I'm going to take my dessert spoons and I'm going to use a large spoon and a small spoon. Um, usually at Thanksgiving we do pies and some sort of a trifle, so usually one of the spoons is for the trifle and one is for the pies. And I just place my spoons on the left side of my dish, the large one closer to the charger plate and the small one right next to it. So that is what the place setting looks like. So there you have it guys. This is my complete Thanksgiving tablescape and table settings that we'll be using for Thanksgiving this year. I will also be adding some place settings with name tags, which is going to be another DIY that I'm going to do a different video for, for, for. so stay tuned for that one. Also, I'm going to be doing a full house Thanksgiving tour on how I decorated the rest of my house as well as some other dollar store DIYs and some other tablescape areas that I do in my house as well. So I hope you enjoyed. Please thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving.